Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your bonus reading for March. This is Miri, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So, Cancer, I'm going to take a look at love, life, and advice for you for your bonus reading for March. My intention with this is if your monthlies didn't really resonate with you, maybe something here will. So it's sort of just like a little extra bonus reading. So, Cancer, you can check the description box below for all the information you need about me, personal reading information. And also um, the giveaway for the free reading and the free tarot deck is still open until the end of March. So if you'd like to enter the contest to win that in honor of reaching 10,000 subscribers, also check the description box and the pinned top comment for all that information. And if you'd like to head over to my community tab of my channel, there are two polls there I'd like everyone to participate in if you would like to, what kind of readings you'd like to see per month and if you would be interested in extended readings on Vimeo. So, Cancer, let's take a look, see what's going on. Welcome, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female. Please only take what resonates. Throw away the rest. It may not be for everybody. So let's take a little look at love here, Cancer, for this bonus reading and see what's going on for Cancer at this time. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Okay, well that fell right into my lap. So let's see what we have here. We have a new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. And I just got this for my Sagittarius reading. And please keep in mind these energies can also be past, present, or future. And we have, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. And that's just so funny because this Bonus reading is a love life and then advice for you also. So there is no right or wrong, wrong choice. Every choice that you make expands your understanding of life and love. So there could be <coughs> a new choice. Um, could be a new choice. <laughs> a beginning, a uh, chance for a new beginning here. Or a choice that needs to be made in a love situation. About a new beginning, perhaps. So... We're going to clarify uh, with the tarot once I pull all the cards here. So let's take a look at life. What's going on in life for you, Cancer, at this time for Cancer. If I get my cards to shuffle, so I'm going to get one more for Cancer. Spirit, please. Thank you. What's going on for Cancer and life at this time, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. All right. Well, we got the star. 17 energy. Oriole, you are about to take a big leap forward with your life. Worry will be replaced with optimism, fear with hope, and joy is coming home to roost. So the star here, wishes and dreams coming true, having faith, hope, and optimism, healing energy and divinely guided energy also so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck to add to this and we have nine of spring gazelle you've worked hard and what you've created is impressive and worthy of protecting annoying challenges may pop up but don't worry you'll get through them just as you have in the past so this is the nine of wands energy so that can be an energy of you know, you feel like you've been through some things here. You feel like the wounded warrior. You've been through some battles and struggles, but you never give up. You always have a little fight left in you to keep moving on. So it's my wounded warrior or the battered, tattered soldier card. But you never give up. You keep moving on because something's divinely guided for you. Wish dream coming true and not giving up and keep moving forward here. Even though you feel like sometimes you've really been through the ringer, not giving up some sort of divinely guided energy so we're gonna get your advice here first and then we'll clarify with the tarot for cancer spirit please thank you so much what is the advice for cancer please for this march bonus reading okay i'm gonna take that one wow this one i just got this one too so we're getting a lot of repeating cards here for my bonus readings so we have planting seeds Seeds of grace are being planted in the fertile soil of my soul. Okay. 
and manifesting dreams. My dreams are coming true. And I can't make this up. The star is about wishes and dreams coming true. So <laughs> double energy here. Whatever plants your, your plants, your seeds you're planting, if I could speak, is like manifesting. You're manifesting, planting the seeds and manifesting this cornucopia of abundance here, Cancer. And then under that, we do have expect miracles. So, wow. Okay. Whatever you've been trying to manifest, planting the seeds, maybe it's been a long, hard journey, a long struggle and a fight, but manifesting dreams, dreams and wishes coming true, divinely guided energy, not to give up faith, stay hopeful and optimistic because there's divinely guided energy. But let's take a little look at love here. Let's clarify this choice or understanding in this new beginning in love. Okay. All right. I wanted three. I have three. So we have the Page of Swords. So open, honest, truthful communication or watching or spying on someone here. Ten of Coins in reverse. Okay. So there's a choice whether it's... Ten of Coins is about long-term commitment. It's also about, it can be marriage, it can be um, commitment of some kind, but it's always about abundance and growth, expansion for the long-term, long-term, family dynamic, legacy, that whole thing. And the Palace of Cups in reverse, wow. So, you may not even want this new beginning for some of you, because ultimately there's a choice here uh, it's, you know, whatever the choice is right for you, nothing's right or nothing's wrong, but this is the honest communication with somebody here about a new beginning. Palace of Cups is like, do you want to live in this space with this person of love, contentment? You know, do you feel that pure love and emotion for them? Do you want this long-term commitment with them? This Palace of Cups and Ten of Coins is almost like long-term commitment with this person, but with the Palace of Cups... The palace cards, there's only a few in this deck. There's four. This is the only deck that has them. It's very rarely when they come out. And but yours is in reverse. So I feel like you really need to decide here, make a choice. Do you really feel like you could live in this new beginning with this person if they're thinking about marriage or if, they, if they've asked you about marriage or proposed? This is you now having clarity and having open communication about a long-term commitment. And it's a true love here. Is it somebody you could spend the rest of your life, life with in this Palace of Cups? So this choice is up to you in this new beginning. So now we have the Page of Cups, two pages. We don't have any kings or queens yet. All we have is pages. So this could be an apology. Oh, I'm sorry, but no, <laughs> um, for some of you. What else here? Judgment. Yeah, making a final decision, judgment call, asking for forgiveness, you know, could be resurrection or soulmates coming back together, but I'm getting more of asking forgiveness about your decision or final judgment call on this energy. <clears throat> One more. Justice. Yeah. So this is, I mean, some of you may even be asking for a divorce here. Keep in mind, like I said, this could be past, past, present, or future energy. But we have Libra, Scorpio, and we have uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So this is your energy with the Page of Cups. So this could be legal matters, divorce. This could be balancing out the scales, having mental clarity, getting justice, serving justice. So it's not reverse, so it's not an injustice. So... Some of you may be making a judgment call and apologizing and maybe asking for a divorce because you're no, lo no longer, especially with the Ten of Coins, want to invest in a long-term commitment, having that mental clarity. Maybe there's no more love in the situation. Or if this is a new beginning, so if it's a new beginning, so I don't feel like it's somebody that you're married to or been in a long-term commitment with. <clears throat> it could be somebody you've been with for a very long time and maybe they proposed or they want to move in together or something like that. And maybe you just come to the realization that maybe that's not an option for you. Um, so I feel like some of you are apologizing, making a judgment call 
and um, just giving clarity in this whole situation, especially with the honest communication that maybe you don't want this long-term commitment, marriage, or whatever with this person in this new beginning. Just know every choice isn't right or wrong. It's just a deeper understanding of life and love for you. So if you were just settling or knowing it's not really true connection for you, you better off to be open and honest now than later down the road when you've been married 10, 15, 20 years and you regret the choice that you've made. All right. Cancer. Let's see what's going on here with the star and the nine of spring. So what is this energy about? Queen of Swords. So there's, again, uh, being in total mind space of clarity. King of Queen of Swords. Wow. So you actually could be moving towards a soulmate now. Because we have a matching couple here. So, <laughs> wow. What else? Yeah. Wow, look at that. So the world energy here. So <laughs> closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. Closing out a new cycle to start a new cycle. And it could be with a divine soulmate here. So whatever this was in the past, it was a new beginning for you. Maybe it was somebody you were dating or somebody you thought maybe you were settling or whatever. And now finding have finally having that mental clarity. I just don't want to settle. So apologizing, telling the truth, and making that judgment call. So now, you know, you're wishing and you're hoping for the future here, for your divinely guided soulmate, I feel. Um, never losing faith, hope, and optimism. Not giving up. And then, boom, you find your... And you don't have to be air signs, but this matching couple is telling me this is a divine soulmate couple here. Divinely guided soulmate couple here with the star. Wow. Because one is seven equals eight, and then we have nine. So, <laughs> in the world, so closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. And then I noticed right in the middle of the world here is the fool, which resets at zero, jumps right into a new start, a whole new leap of faith. Tower. So, this could just be... Um, Three of Cups. So reuniting. You could even be reuniting with someone from the past. Because this is my reuniting card. Or celebrating. Uh, having a good time. Or just celebrating. So let's get one more. Eight of Coins. So working here. Taking it slow, maybe. <clears throat> working on this. Taking it slow. Getting to know one another. Putting in the dedicated effort and the hard work. Not rushing. So this tower could be just an epiphany, aha moment. Wow, this I think this is my divinely guided soulmate. Maybe a surprise or a shock. Could be somebody you're reuniting with, or it just could be going out and celebrating. But taking it slow also, as you'll close out a new chapter, an old chapter, start a new chapter. King of Queen of Swords, divine soulmate couple here. So we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have... Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Aries, Aquarius there. All right, so what is this planting seeds and manifesting dreams about for cancer? Wow, okay. Oh, I'm going to take these two. Three of coins, again, working together, taking it slow, like investing you know, planting those seeds, working that crop, having faith, hope, and optimism again. This is also the marriage. This is the hierophant, marriage, commitment, um, morals, doing what's moral, just and right, institutional organizations and things of that nature, learning. All right, so this can be about learning, and the three of coins can be about learning something new and mastering a new craft. So you could actually be <clears throat> mastering and learning a new craft here. And it's planting seeds as you're learning and mastering this craft and manifesting your new beginning to this cornucopia of abundance. So it could be a new job or promotion for coins. So this is about holding on. Maybe you're kind of holding on to uh, your finances right now, trying to keep things in check, in order. 
Oh, I didn't even feel that fall out. Queen of Cups. So there's your energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So there you are. Having that faith, hope, and optimism. This is an offer right here. It could be a love offer or some other kind of offer here that you've accepted. And you have it in your hand now. Three of Wands. You've waited for this ship to come in. You waited, waited, and now you've grabbed it once it's arrived. Could be a new job or a promotion where you're learning something new. Staying committed to the journey because you will have a very um, stable home life here. Very stable home life. Marriage, commitment, ceremony, celebrating. Being very stable in your home life. So whatever you are planting the seeds here, working on, being committed to, or learning something new, maybe you're, you know, trying to save, make ends meet, holding on to every penny, <coughs> but whatever offer you waited to come in, you've grabbed it, and now you're much more stable and abundant in your home life. And you've manifested this. Dreams are coming true. Dreams coming true. I feel like, like new job, new partner getting rid of something that maybe you were just settling for over here. Wow. So let's see what's on the bottom. The moon. So being, you know, can't really see the path too clearly. Um, things coming to light. Listening to your intuition. Seven of Wands, again, fighting and not giving up. I felt that, not giving up here. Even though maybe you can't see the path clearly, but the sun always comes out. Everything comes to light here. The moon energy and the moon does in zodiac does represent cancer so that definitely is your energy all right cancer i hope this resonated for you uh best of luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say is to always always shine your light